from a very windy Blue Mountain College in Blue Mountain, Mississippi with a blue sky to match. The Southern State Showcase just around the corner. John here, Nicole there. We're going to see if we can stay on our two feet for the next half hour. Yes, hopefully we can. <laughs> hopefully we don't blow over. Well, I got my blue dress on today. Had yeah. my purple shirt on last week. Coordinated as but always. We are going to get started. The showcase starts right now. Southern State Showcase on Sports South. Welcome to another edition of the Southern State Showcase. I'm Nicole Morocco, and as always, to my right, we have John Nelson. We have a full show. So, John, what do we got up first? Well, other than trying to make sure that we can stay anchored on this windy day, this is not Chicago, Illinois. It is Blue Mountain, Mississippi. We are here at Blue Mountain College. We've got a lot of stuff going on here in the conference, so now it's time for the lead. It's hard to believe with all of their accomplishments that just three years ago, now Athletic Director Jose Larios started the men's cross country program at Emmanuel College. From the beginning, we didn't have an athletic center. We didn't have good shorts to run in, good shirts with our names on it. So we started in wife feeders and <laughs> booty shorts. So we just came a long way with having a good name and taking it to new heights. And it's good to be recognized by the community and uh, give a little bit of hope to the rest of the school. Last year, in only their second season as a program, the team won the SSAC Conference Championship and went on to compete in the national race. This year, the team continues to improve. Their hard work has paid off as they broke into the top 10 in the national polls. For the moment, it feels, it feels good, I guess, because I know what we're capable of doing and what kind of team we're capable of being on the national level. And also, I just feel thankful because I know that we put in a lot of work and we've been dedicated so long that it finally paid off and we get national recognition in the top 10 polls. I'm super proud of these guys. They've, they've worked hard all season. Uh, they worked hard over the summer, really put in the miles and came ready to train. So I'm super proud of these guys and our goal all season long has been to fix our eyes on Jesus and, and honor him with our work, uh, whether it's on the course or, or in the dorm with our school work, but they've bought into that, so I'm proud of, proud of them for that. As we seek to honor Jesus, uh, we want to run fast with that too. This type of success for such a young program is oftentimes unheard of, which is why a runner's character is vital when recruiting an athlete. We look at character, and if we have the right character, they can fit into our program because our training philosophy is just, is just built on you know, you got to come here and you're going to want this. You're, it's not going to be glory. You're not going to run in front of crowds of people. You know, we're not going to have home events, so everything's going to be away. Um, and this is grueling. Their hard work and commitment have definitely paid off. While bursting into the nation's top ten was a great accomplishment, the team isn't going to settle there. They want more. To nowhere but up. I mean, it's going good and everybody's happy and we're still fresh. There's a little couple injuries, but everybody's still putting in the work and we're going to really do it at Nationals this year. So we're incredibly proud of what, you know, what's, what's become of that program. And, and you know, top 10, that, that is nice. And the guys are really stoked and they're very humble about it. They really are. They're excited about that. Um, but I think they uh, they want more. All right, that's it for the lead. And I was doing a little research while we were watching that story. There is no Chicago, Mississippi. We do have rivers named Chicago and Mississippi and businesses in Chicago with Mississippi in the title, but no wind associating a Chicago, Mississippi. All right, well, now that we have all that knowledge, we're going to head to break, <laughs> so don't go away. The showcase continues after this. This is a photo of a toasted, tasty Nuke sandwich and another of Nuke's crispy California-style pizzas and supremely satisfying salads and oh-so-decadent desserts. Of course, they're just photos, but proof enough that a picture can tempt a thousand taste buds. Come to Nuke's and enjoy our signature dishes made with the finest, freshest ingredients in person. 
After all, taste buds can only take so much tempting. Choosing the right college can be difficult. You're looking for professors that will challenge you while investing in your future. You want a place where you can be yourself and have fun while strengthening your faith and making a difference in the lives of those around you. You belong at the University of Mobile. The University of Mobile offers more than 40 areas of study in a Christ-centered environment just one hour from the beautiful beaches on Alabama's Gulf Coast. The University of Mobile. Learning, faith, and leadership. I had a dream, a beautiful dream. I couldn't believe how real it seemed. Up on stage in the field of green, on the winding river, when the song you'll sing. When I wake up, I'll see you here in Montgomery, where dreams come true. From my very first day at Faulkner, it's been an incredible experience. There's so much to do around campus, and I know that I've made friends that will last a lifetime. I love using my iPad in my classes. I feel really prepared for the future. Plus, the use of e-text helps me cut costs on textbooks. At Faulkner University, we seek to educate the whole person, including mind, spirit, and soul. That's what makes us different from most other universities. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use. Cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. From in front of the fountain at Blue Mountain, Blue Mountain College in Blue Mountain, Mississippi, it is time for the B Block here on the Southern State Showcase. There's a lot of bees, a lot of blues, a lot of mountains, fountains. <laughs> well, the poet didn't know it. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, we already had our first story, so here is our second one. Katie Bright here in a city that claims to be the sports capital of the South, Montgomery, Alabama. And as the Southern States Athletic Conference moves many of our championships here, we wanted to find out what makes this town so sports friendly. Along the banks of the Alabama River lies Montgomery, Alabama, birthplace of the Civil Rights Movement, home of Maxwell Air Force Base, cradle of the Confederacy, and the hometown of many legends like country music's Hank Williams and the unforgettable Nat King Cole. It's a city with all sorts of rich history. You can say this is the start of the Civil War, the start of the Civil Rights Movement. Um, all of the things that encompasses Montgomery, makes Montgomery a great place to come, a great place to visit, and a fun place to, uh, to play ball. Ron Simmons, the man who knows it all when it comes to Montgomery sports, points out the city's athletic history also runs deep. The blue and gray game was held right here at Crampton Bowl. Uh, that game is known for so many athletes who came and played football from colleges all across America. Believe it or not, at one point, several, several years ago, uh, Crampton Bowl was known to have, was a baseball stadium, and Babe Ruth played in that stadium. A lot of people want to be able to play in a place where there's history. So while you're standing where legends like Babe Ruth once stood, Montgomery Mayor Todd Strange is looking for ways to continue the growth. The whole downtown uh, was started under the former mayor, Bobby Bright, with the, with the Biscuit Stadium and then with the Renaissance. But what we've tried to do is add to that the world-class a hotel, right, the convention center with a great performing arts. I mean, we can have some of the, the best known, Elton John and many others that I really don't even know what they sing, but we've got lots of good uh, entertainment opportunities and, and great uh, golfing opportunities, uh, fishing, those kinds of things. In fact, Montgomery is home to hundreds of sports facilities like Crampton Bowl. This newly renovated stadium is already attracting some major sporting events like the Raycom College Football All-Star Classic, and it was just named home to ESPN's Camellia Bowl starting in 2014. And right across the street, you'll find Patterson Field, a baseball stadium the mayor says has a $1.8 million makeover on the way. Across town is a newly renovated YMCA youth soccer complex and home of this year's NAIA Men's Soccer National Championship. Ten soccer fields, all the fields are lighted, and two of those soccer fields are championship-style fields. 
Then there's a new multiplex downtown that can house anything from volleyball to basketball, wrestling, you name it, it can do it. Now we can't forget Riverwalk Stadium, named the 18th best stadium experience in the country last year by Stadium Journey Magazine and home to the Montgomery Biscuits minor league baseball team. And it is an affiliate of the Tampa Rays. So, and as a matter of fact, the Tampa Rays are coming to Montgomery in 2014 to play an exhibition game right here in Montgomery, Alabama against their, their minor league team. There are several former Biscuit players who are now known for their play in the big leagues, including Tampa Bay's third baseman Evan Longoria, pitcher David Price, and Atlanta Braves outfielder BJ Upton. And although the talent here is impressive, Chamber Vice President Don Hathcock says for many, it's about the atmosphere. Going to a Biscuits game is a really unique experience. Nine times out of ten, I don't know who we're playing. I don't know who won the game. It's just a fun, entertaining activity. Montgomery seems to have something for the sports fan of every age. And if you get hungry while you're here, you're in luck. With plenty of great restaurants, including the newest Nukes Eatery location over on Vaughn Road, which has plenty of people talking. A wonderful experience. So we're really excited to be able to have uh, Nukes now opening. We hope that they open multiple locations. I hope for one downtown near my office too. A city treasuring the past and embracing the future. What our goal would be is to claim all of these championships that are available to us. Could be considered the sports capital of the South. When you look at the state of Alabama and the sports history here in the state, from everything from national championships in multiple sports to minor league, you've got great family sports, you've got little league sports. This brings people to Montgomery that might not ever be able to come here or have the reason to come here. But once they come, we feel like we can show them what Montgomery has to offer. Now, if you're still not convinced Montgomery is the sports capital of the South, come on in for one of our conference championships and find out for yourself. For the Southern States Athletic Conference, I'm Katie Bright in Montgomery, Alabama. Two stories down, one to go on this week's showcase, and that means one thing. When we come back, we'll let you know everything about Blue Mountain College and them being the integral part of the SSAC that they now are. The showcase continues from Mississippi after this. This is a photo of a toasted, tasty Nukes sandwich and another of Nukes crispy California-style pizzas and supremely satisfying salads and oh-so-decadent desserts. Of course, they're just photos, but proof enough that a picture can tempt a thousand taste buds. Come to Nukes and enjoy our signature dishes made with the finest, freshest ingredients in person. After all, taste buds can only take so much tempting. Education should do more than just fill your head with knowledge. It should open your mind and transform your life with the power of truth. At Blue Mountain College, we are inspiring a new generation to learn truth, love knowledge, and live virtue. This is what we teach. This is who we are. Blue Mountain College. Truth. Knowledge. Virtue. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use, cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. From my very first day at Faulkner, it's been an incredible experience. There's so much to do around campus, and I know that I've made friends that will last a lifetime. I love using my iPad in my classes. I feel really prepared for the future. Plus, the use of e-text helps me cut costs on textbooks. At Faulkner University, we seek to educate the whole person, including mind, spirit, and soul. That's what makes us different from most other universities. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. Being at Faulkner is like being a part of a big family. I feel safe here. It seems like I know everybody, and even my professors know me by name. My faith in Christ has grown a lot since coming to Faulkner, especially working with this outstanding Bible department and seeing the general Christian lives of all the professors on campus. Faulkner University is a growing, academically strong institution where Christ is the center of everything we do. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. 
Welcome back to the showcase. We are moving right along and we are here in Blue Mountain, Mississippi and it is finally time to learn a little bit more about Blue Mountain College. Last week on the showcase we were in McKenzie, Tennessee at one of the new member schools, Bethel University. We've now traveled two and a half hours south here to Blue Mountain and Blue Mountain College. Let's find out everything you always wanted to know about one of the newest members of the Southern States. Founded in 1873, Blue Mountain College has kept sense of its mission as a Christian and specifically a Baptist institution through its careful balancing of liberal arts and vocational studies, a special kind of student life, and a family-like environment where students, faculty, and administrators believe in the worth of the individual. The college has, over the years, sought to prepare students for meaningful lives. Emphasis has been given to the development of strength of character and the ability to live creatively. Through small classes, a close faculty-student relationship, and focus on the importance of the individual, the college has endeavored to send graduates into the real world as well-prepared academically and spiritually to accept places of leadership in their professions, communities, and in the work of their denomination, something that everyone involved in the evolution of Blue Mountain College takes part in every day. We are uh, committed to our mission, which is to provide Christ-centered education to all of our students. And we want our students to enter each classroom and learn to think Christianly about whatever subject matter they are pursuing. And we firmly believe that uh, our professors are providing a type of experience for our students so that whether they're planning to be um, teachers or pastors or um, managers, what, whatever the uh, discipline that uh, they are studying. We, we feel that our professors are positioning the material for them in a way that challenges them academically. Part of that specialty is only having a student-teacher ratio of an almost unheard of 13 to 1 in today's academic settings with an average class size of 15. President McMillan believes that cornerstone of the learning environment is crucial to the school's success. That's part of our culture because we're very much a family a community. Uh, everyone knows everyone. We are, we are a small uh, institution, relatively speaking, but uh, the, uh, the students know each other, the faculty know the students, uh, they uh, uh, see each other in the dining hall. Uh, at least once a day, maybe three times a day for some, but uh, we're we're a close knit group of folks who cheer one another on. Dr. McMillan also knows firsthand the growth the school has seen over time. She grew up 15 miles north of Blue Mountain in the Mississippi town of Faulkner, and as a graduate student, she was a teaching assistant and an English instructor at Blue Mountain College in the summers of 1985 and 1987. The college was independently owned and administered until 1920 when control was turned over to the Mississippi Baptist Convention, and from 1873 to 2005, the school operated as a traditional liberal arts college for women. But in October of that year, the Board of Trustees unanimously voted to make all programs offered by the college available to male students, making Blue Mountain College fully co-educational. All this change, somewhat sudden in the academic sense, has given the college a new perspective and a sense of pride. The change at Blue Mountain is, is really dramatic, uh, but that would be true of any institution that uh, having been a women's school since 1873 to 2005, you can imagine that it's going to be quite a change to go co-ed at that time. And so uh, that's the Blue Mountain I knew growing up, growing up, and now it is a very different place. Athletically, the toppers are part of the trio of schools coming over from the Dissolve Trans-South Conference, but to the school, its competitors, and its competitive nature, all sports the college participates in want the challenge and welcome the challenge the Southern States will present. We had looked at this conference for a while and really realized that it was a premier conference, and we had discussed earlier that if the opportunity arose that this would be a conference that we would pursue. And so when, as it all began to develop out and we made contact with the southern states uh, and as we met with Kurt, uh, we came to realize that this was even more the conference that we wanted to be in. But another feather in the topper cap should soon be the completion of the new sports plex just over the hill from the college front entrance. Once done, the travel for competition will only be done for away games and the school relishes the idea of soon having their own home field advantage. Uh, everybody is excited and anticipating uh, getting the sports plex completed. Uh, we don't know exactly when that will happen, uh, 
Uh, weather has a lot to do with it uh, and, uh, and just however how the work proceeds, but just being able to bring our baseball team and our softball team on campus rather than having to drive to New Albany, even though it, it's been a great experience with them, uh, we just feel like our student body can embrace them a little more if it's here on campus. And uh, just the, the idea of, of having a, an athletic complex of that magnitude is a, is a big plus and creates great excitement as well. And our golf team will be able to um, be able to use it as a driving range. There'll be a, a mile track out there for our cross country to use as well as our student body. Uh, we have a sand volleyball court that's supposed to be going up out there that also will be used by our student body. So there's a lot of excitement in, in getting it completed. The uh, sportsplex will benefit not only the students of Blue Mountain College, but we believe it will be a great, great addition to the community. So with all this planning and elements in place, the time for Blue Mountain won't be just in the now, but the future looks bright for the school as well. We feel a very, very strong commitment to our traditional programming, and we would love to see our campus grow uh, in terms of residential housing for our students. We are maxed out right now. Uh, almost every bed at this moment is occupied, and we would love to be able to provide some new housing in the very, very near future for our students. We think that's a key to our continued growth to be able to meet that need. We certainly uh, are excited about our academic programming. We would love to see growth in a number of our programs, but in particular I would uh, uh, envision a day when there's a new math science facility on our campus that will allow us to move the, uh, uh, that depart those departments that are in this building uh, into a new state-of-the-art facility that we think would uh, enable our students to get the best preparation possible to move into particularly medical careers, health related careers. We have great success in those areas now, but we think we could do even more if, if we had those facilities to support our work. So Nicole, that's the short version of what's going on here at Blue Mountain. A bit of a preview as they're one of the new members here in the conference. We're going to keep an eye on the toppers and what's going on here academically and athletically this season on the showcase. It's been a great first visit so far here to Blue Mountain, but don't worry, we still have some more to come after this. But first, our Players of the Week. The Players of the Week at the conference level for the week of October 21st are as follows. The volleyball honor went to Coastal Georgia's Kara Nyson. The sophomore outside hitter finished three matches with 36 kills, 18 digs, an ace, and a block while helping the Mariners to a 3-0 week. In men's soccer, the defensive player of the week is AUM junior goalkeeper Vigner Johannesson. The Iceland native continued his solid play for the Warhawks, getting a shutout against Spring Hill and allowing just one goal versus Mobile. The senior combined for 10 saves in those matches, helping AUM remain undefeated in league play and extending its winning streak to eight games. The men's offensive player of the week is Martin Methodist midfielder Juan Madrigal. Madrigal had a two goal week, including a dramatic double overtime blast in an upset of the number two ranked Bellhaven. He also had a goal in a 3-2 loss to William Carey, his fifth of the year. In women's soccer, the defensive player of the week is William Carey's sophomore goalkeeper, Linfa Jones. Jones recorded eight saves against Martin Methodist and five against Bethel while allowing just one goal on the week. The offensive player of the week is William Carey's senior forward, Emily Davis. Davis had an impressive week, recording four of the Lady Crusaders' five goals, helping the team pick up a pair of conference wins. Davis leads the NAIA in goals scored. She's third in goals per game, fourth in game winning goals, and ninth in total points. In men's cross country, the honor went to Bethel's Jacob Reeves. Reeves was third at the Union University Invitational in a time of 26 minutes and 36 seconds for the 8K course. Reeves finished helped the Wildcats earn a second place in the team standings. The senior also set a personal best and fell four seconds short of the Bethel school record. In women's cross country, the honor went to William Carey's Allison Denechi. Last week, she posted a time of 19 minutes and 28 seconds to finish fourth at the Choctaw Open. Congratulations to all of the players of the week. This is a photo of a toasted, tasty Nuke sandwich and another of Nuke's crispy California-style pizzas and supremely satisfying salads and oh-so-decadent desserts. Of course, they're just photos, but proof enough that a picture can tempt a thousand taste buds. 
Come to Nukes and enjoy our signature dishes made with the finest, freshest ingredients in person. After all, taste buds can only take so much tempting. Education should do more than just fill your head with knowledge. It should open your mind and transform your life with the power of truth. At Blue Mountain College, we are inspiring a new generation to learn truth, love knowledge, and live virtue. This is what we teach. This is who we are. Blue Mountain College. Truth. Knowledge. Virtue. Being at Faulkner is like being a part of a big family. I feel safe here. It seems like I know everybody, and even my professors know me by name. My faith in Christ has grown a lot since coming to Faulkner, especially working with this outstanding Bible department and seeing the general Christian lives of all the professors on campus. Faulkner University is a growing, academically strong institution where Christ is the center of everything we do. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. I had a dream, a beautiful dream. I couldn't believe how real it seems. Up on stage in the field of green, on the winding river, on a song you sing. When I wake up, I'll see you, you in Montgomery, where dreams come true. Welcome back to the showcase. One last go around here from Tyler Jim on the campus of Blue Mountain College. You saw the national rankings. Southern States is always well represented. And we got a holiday coming up. Yes. Happy Halloween, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's going to do it from here in Blue Mountain. We are so happy to have them part of the conference. But don't worry. We have another show for you next week. See you then. Education should do more than just fill your head with knowledge. It should open your mind and transform your life with the power of truth. At Blue Mountain College, we are inspiring a new generation to learn truth, love knowledge, and live virtue. This is what we teach. This is who we are. Blue Mountain College. Truth. Knowledge. Virtue. Choosing the right college can be difficult. You're looking for professors that will challenge you while investing in your future. You want a place where you can be yourself and have fun while strengthening your faith and making a difference in the lives of those around you. You belong at the University of Mobile. The University of Mobile offers more than 40 areas of study in a Christ-centered environment just one hour from the beautiful beaches on Alabama's Gulf Coast. The University of Mobile, learning, faith, and leadership. From my very first day at Faulkner, it's been an incredible experience. There's so much to do around campus and I know that I've made friends that will last a lifetime. I love using my iPad in my classes. I feel really prepared for the future. Plus, the use of e-text helps me cut costs on textbooks. At Faulkner University, we seek to educate the whole person, including mind, spirit, and soul. That's what makes us different from most other universities. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. I had a dream, a beautiful dream I couldn't believe how real it seemed Up on 
on stage in the field of green on the winding river, and a song you'll sing when I.